Well, I think it's going to be a landslide for Obama, so that I wouldn't. I I think McCain would be more of the same. Um, I think, or I think actually, McCain even he would have to shift some. I mean, Israel's in crisis right now, so, and they're pushing the two-state solution. So there's a real urgency about that. But I guess I think the great thing, uh, the the. the the wonderful powers that I ascribe to Barack Obama. I mean, I'm one of these people who's gaga on Obama. So, you know, I'm just one of the, uh, and I, I, I've noticed they're cultists. I'm a cultist for Obama. But one of the things that I believe about Obama is that he has this unique ability to take me and Alan Dershowitz and sort of triangulate our point of view. I really am hoping that that's true because, you know, Alan Dershowitz and I, not that he, you know, pays much attention to my point of view, I've engaged him a couple of times, you know, he and I really dislike uh, our respective positions. We don't get along, um, you know, and, and Larry Summers, uh, you know, um, uh, is someone who was very concerned about people like me, you know, at Harvard. And, and there's just been a lot, I guess what I'm trying to get at is within the Jewish intellectual family and in the larger American family, but within that family, there's just been enormous rancor and division and a lot of pain. I mean, and, uh, you know, it, it upsets me just to think about, but people don't speak to each other. And that's the power that, I mean, I'm, as, I, as I say, I'm a little gaga, but I do have this hope that Barack Obama can sort of bring these people together and say, you know what, you're right, and so are you. And that's a really, that would be a tremendous thing, because I think one of the problems here is that uh, each side has its narrative, and that it sticks to, and that those narratives have to be folded together for us to make progress.